Welcome to episode 8. I am Blue Eyes Witch. You are watching my video. Surprise! That's not what I'm here for. I am here for the Sea Monkey update. I'm sorry this has taken so long between episode 7 and episode 8. Episode 8, I am telling you all about their mating rituals. Um, if you see the sea monkey that is male wiggling around like twitchy twitchy movements, he's trying to attract the female. That's right. That is the little fix mating ritual. If a female <laughs> does it back and she's not pregnant, she is liking his movements. That's right. That's how it happens. So what, what else should I tell you about? Um, yes. So, uh, oh, to, 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 let me just say, to identify a male and a female, if I have not said this before, the male has longer antennas or feeler-like things, and they're really cute, to be honest. In my opinion, they're very cute. I think the males are very cute. If you put this into the full screen, you probably would see the, the males and the differences that they have longer feeler things, antenna things at the front there and the ladies have very short feeler antenna like things the way the reason for the long antenna things are because well they cling on to female while they're having baby making time that's right in the purple tribe they have roughly three pregnant females and one mating pair in the blue tribe they have two mating pairs and three pregnant females so as you can tell that the blue tribe seems to be in a very hormonal, hormonal stage in their life or the fact is that they probably have more females or more males than in the purple tribe purple tribe have more babies let's, let's just say that there are more little babies in the purple tribe, and yeah, not, not many females or males in the mating age group. So, yeah, that's, that's why. And anyway, I'll see you next time. Toodles! Um, yeah. So I'll see you in the next episode, which is episode 9. Don't ask me what it's about. Okay.